All right, I've just started the ink wash up on the CD6 Enterprise. Um, thanks for all the help on Facebook. I did get some, I ended up getting from the US Navy some very clear defining shots of, um, uh, of the pier and a few other people kicked in as well. I really appreciate that. But this is the angle. Um, I'll pan back a bit. She's, there's going to be a lot of activity, a lot of tugs. I'm having uh, a tug at the stern. There's going to be one here ready to shunt her if need be. Um, coming down, you've got a whaler boat that's taken off um, from the concrete pier here. The actual wharf would be further down this way. Um, yeah, she's taken off with a couple of guys in it. They're gonna, they'll be collecting the ropes from the stern, bringing them back. A um, lot of guys up on, on the concrete pylon, ready to receive ropes. Um, tug right here, sort of up against the hull opposite here, shunting. Also, uh, I'm going to do, I want to do a tug here with the slack rope. You know, she's the bow tug um, with the bow, uh, with the bow rope. Um, she'll be there as well. Um, background, I've, I've still got to research the background of the area. I do have some shots, but not clear. But um, it should be dark blue, of course, um, arriving in Pearl 42, in a 42 configuration. So, uh, yeah, this is it. And uh, big job, big canvas. I'll just pan right back. I think I've got the perspective right. No doubt people will let me know either way. Um, uh, yeah, so look forward to doing more videos. Thanks everyone, cheers. Big day at the office today, uh, sort of focusing on the, the water in the front, <clears throat> um, just getting placements of the boats, etc., working out the scales. Um, yeah, so I'll just zoom in a bit. So this is the uh, one of the tugs at the back. There's going to be two tugs at the back. One of the U.S. Navy work boats there, just stationary, milling around, and then coming down to Pier F2 concrete slab there, um, personnel boats, well, they're going to do a lot of sailors up on, up on this ready to receive ropes, um, got to enlarge that tug there, that's a bit too small but anyway, I'll work that out as I go, the whaler, which is going to be taking sailors out <clears throat> to pick up um, uh, the ropes as they're thrown over by the guys at the back here, and that'll just tug along with the ship and eventually get passed up the bollards. So yeah, big day working on the water. Still got heaps to go on this water. This is um, quite shallow here, just the brown and you know the muddy bottom. Um, gonna have, uh, it's quite still, it's not, it's not rough or anything like that. But I'll have, um, you know, the shadow sort of thing of, of, of the ship, the sun's sort of over that angle. So it'll be quite dark up around on the bow. Um, quite a few um, vessels just over here uh, yeah so yeah big day at the office uh, even bigger one tomorrow so far it's just base coats and just working it out um, yeah I'll spend all day on the water tomorrow I, I have to get this water pretty much done while it's all wet happy with the sky so far a few touch-ups on that uh, highlights and of course the background, which will be later on, which leaves me the ship. So yeah, so that's the progress so far. Happy with it, I think. Um, yeah, anyway, have a good night everyone. Cheers.
Evening all. I'm very happy with today's progress. I uh, uh, set out to do um, the island, which, which I achieved. It's, it's at about nine o'clock tonight. I started early in the morning. Uh, still a lot of detail still to go, uh, but I was very happy with today's results. Um, yeah, so just panning down. Tomorrow, I'm not gonna work on the bow area just yet. Still got the background here. I'd better do that at some stage um, before I do the ship. But I think tomorrow I want to get this tug done and I want to get this workboat, US Naval workboat done with some guys on there. At the moment it just looks like it's just placed there. It's, it's not sort of in motion. It's not, um, it, it, it um, yeah, it needs a bit of activity on it, as they say. So tomorrow I'll get the two tugs, one at the stern here um, with, with the ropes going to the quarter deck. Um, this tug, of course, get that done. Got the boat up there to finish off. I just got to let the dry, uh, grey go dry. And also tomorrow, I think I'm going to work on the personnel boat. That's still drying, but I need to beef it up a lot and get some activity on there and find detail and reflections on the water, etc. So you won't see much happening on the ship itself tomorrow it'll just be peripheral things which I think will help bring this area to life at the moment it's looking a bit stagnant but nothing like a good drink won't fix so to all the Facebook fans or, or people that um, say hello hello good to hear from you and see you and um, I'll post up some stuff tomorrow cheers folks have a good one Afternoon everyone, it's about three o'clock Sunday afternoon. Been very busy. Um, just starting to uh, sort of detail up the ship. I got all this done today, joined that uh, area. Um, can't do too much more to it until it sort of starts to dry. There's a lot of crew members and all that to um, go up. I'm gonna have an aircraft, a silhouette of an aircraft in there. A lot of officers milling around, lots of sailors getting ready to tie up. Still got the gun tubs. Um, just been working on the island, doing rigging and adding sailors and you know, all, all the activity that goes up on a bridge and the bridge wings when a ship is docking. So um, done a little bit more down this end, bits and pieces. Uh, I think the next step is, for me, is um, apart from the crew members, I've got to get the gun tubs done, um, get some of the 20 millimeter cannons on, um, got these life rafts up under here still to do heaps of guys milling around um, Yeah, so very happy so far It's um, starting to come to life um, I just wish this area would dry because I need to sort of do work on that. But anyway Yeah, so that's her And I did find out about the anchor um I was, I was actually gonna put an anchor in, but a photograph showed it without it, and then I had a photograph which I did some typing on, which I thought was the anchor. I found a clearer shot. Um, definitely no starboard anchor on, so that's not going in. Um, I'd like to put the flags up, but not until she's docked. She will still be having the stars and stripes up on the um, up on the rear mast, but yeah. So lots of crew members to go, and anyway, 
thanks for your comments and likes and dislikes and um, scratching heads and demanding when this kit's out <laughs> um, pretty soon. Cheers, folks. I'll add a bit of movement just to get seasick. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Just an update folks, um, the carrier so far, you, you've all seen this, I've posted up some photos about four or five hours ago. Um, but um, today in the studio, in the garage, is a very good friend, a close friend, that I've known for 40 odd years, I think we worked out. Phil Barton, say hello Phil. Hey guys, it's uh, 41 years <laughs> There you go, 41 years, he's popped in for the night, staying overnight, we're having a few beers bit of a yak of good old times, pancakes and all that sort of shit, but uh, yeah, it was uh, great to catch up. That's the painting so far and I'll post up tomorrow and I'll see you live. Cheers. Evening all, um, this is day seven. I got absolutely fuck all work done today. About two hours painting. Had uh, too many other things on my plate to be uh, to do. So anyway, um, I've started on the, um, the captain's gig. You know, the, the boat there with the crew members. There's going to be a shitload of sailors getting ready to receive ropes. Um, I've put uh, folks will party up, um, getting the hawsers ready. Uh, milling around, a um, lot of lot of sailors just milling around. It's not it's not a formal occasion where they line the rails, etc. Um, yeah, so uh, still got heaps more guys to do up on the flight deck, a um, couple of jeeps, that sort of thing. Um, just guys generally kicking back and watching the affairs as as the ship glides in. Um, yeah, got the gangway. This is where the gangway, you know, getting prepared. <laughs> for the gangway, a lot of officers, uh, marine officers and all that sort of milling around. Um, still got the garden tubs up there to do, but working on crew members. I've, I've been adding crew members everywhere, so um, yeah, uh, lots of, you know, just lots of activity, you know. I thought this was a nice little touch, the fire hydrant with the fire sticks and all that, but anyway. Um, yeah, nothing much has happened down the back, of course, it's still still there, still got some more water, sparkle with some reflection to do, but um, the paint's starting to dry now, so um, which is good. Um, some of the areas are quite wet, up around the bow area is still quite wet, which is good. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to complete this area. I'm going to have about 13, 14 guys up on the, um, 
uh, on the pier. A uh, couple of guys <coughs> on the on on the barge here. Um, not forgetting that this little whaler has just left. So um, yeah, got a few things to do on that. Um, I've put the second coat on and started detailing, detailing it. A bit more rust around, etc., etc. All right. So I'll get back to you all tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Be safe. Cheers. everyone uh, the painting is fully completed now um, a lot of activity been added I'll just give you a quick pan down the ship Jeep up on the bow all the crew done everyone at the gangway waiting on the island <coughs> all completed working back to the stern did a little bit more work on on that tug there foreground one of the barges just milling about and of course this area is now all finished so I hope you enjoyed watching this painting in progress um, it should be a great kit it will be a great kit um, I know that a lot of uh, the ship modelers out there in uh, ship world will be purchasing one of these so um, look forward to seeing the kit in the flesh See you folks. In the last video, um, this is aimed directly at um, to my friends in China, uh, Trumpeter Models. I'd like to say hello to Jackson Chol, Nihal, to the CEO, uh, I'm not sure who you are, but uh, hello, to the um, uh, research department in Trumpeter, uh, hello. Um, just a little video to give you an indication of what's required to do box art. Um, it, it's a, it was a great challenge, this painting. Um, Jackson sent me a, a photo of uh, Enterprise tied up at Pearl. Uh, I didn't want to copy the photo, I'd do my own thing. Um, I do hope you're happy with the results. Uh, the ship is genuine as per 1942. Um, it's a large painting, um, bit over, bit, bit larger than the actual box size. 
thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> it's now been, I think, 12 years uh, that I've been doing uh, both uh, box art for uh, Trumpeter and Hobby Boss and, and a couple of others. Uh, I hope our relationship continues and um, I'm looking at getting over to see you guys uh, sometime next year uh, with my wife, so uh, I'll look forward to that. Um, <clears throat> I, I hope this video, uh, Jackson, gets passed around to everyone for them to see on the construction of this painting. It'd be great. Um, yeah, so it, it was about two weeks in the making. It gives you a very good idea of what's entailed. Um, you, you cannot beat proper art. Uh, sorry, I know you use Photoshop for the 700 scale uh, ships, but um, you cannot beat proper art. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> uh, a recommendation to the research department at Trumpeter. Um, I've been posting the, the, the build on this painting up on Facebook. Um, two, two kits that you need to do. An illustrious class British carrier in 1350 scale and USS Midway. They would be fantastic. Big sellers, they would be terrific. Uh, anyway, I'll leave that up to you guys. So once again, I hope you enjoy the, the uh, pictures and the video on this painting. Um, I hope it gets passed around and uh, Jackson, look forward to catching up mate. Hope you enjoy. Cheers.